Well, guys, back to our video on the channel. Today, we're back to some more GTA 5 online. And today, as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, we obviously have another Drifty vehicle. And today, we are here with, well, actually, in game, it's called the Ubermatch Reinhardt. Um, but uh, yeah, in real life, this is obviously based off the BMW 3 Series Touring. But uh, yeah, let's go and hop into it and uh, let's go and do some uh, customization. So, armor upgrades, easy enough. Brakes. Uh, bumpers, let's see. So we have stock, dropped, clean dropped, vented. Um, bit of a splitter there. Um, I think I'll go with something like. Might go with this with the vented uh, dropped. I think that looks pretty good. Go with that. Rear bumper. So we have stock, painted. Uh, a little diffuser, uh, vented, dropped uh, bumper, street, race, competition. Okay, um, I think we'll go with, uh, I don't really care for the dropped. I think I'll just go with probably a diffuser and go with this one right here, just all black. Uh, chas or chassis, J why is that not sound right? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, tuner seats, tuner seats with cage, um, race setup. Shit, if I go first person, you probably see a bit of differences too. So, had different seats. Then you have the cage as well. Um, okay, then you have the race setup. Uh, competition setup. Okay. Um, I don't think I really want to do any of that. I think we'll do. Might do the cage, I guess. Um. Yeah, we'll do the cage right there. Actually, no. I think we'll just do... Actually, no, I like the default seats. Actually, default seats do look pretty nice. Yeah, let's do default. Okay, engine upgrades, easy enough. Exhaust, so we have stock, we have that. Okay. Um. Oh, we have side exhaust, okay. It's kind of interesting. Um... Then go rear exhaust because on the real car it does have rear exhaust. Uh, and I think I'll go with. Let's see. So by default, that's what it has. I think we'll go with this right here the chrome double bore. Uh, grill. So we have normal. Then we have this. Um, custom intercooler. Small logo. Uh, okay. I think. I was kind of like that, I think. Um, it's realistic. This is what the real one kind of looks like. Um, so yeah, that looks good to me. Race. Okay, so hoods. Race hood. Have another little bump there. Carbon. Okay, tuner. Um, competition. Race spec street hood. Getting a bit excessive. My god. Race spec tuner hood. Okay. Okay, and that's all the hoods. That got very. I feel like there's way too many hoods there, or way too crazy of hoods, I guess I should say. Um, I don't, I don't know if I really. Yeah, I think I'll sleep with stock. Stock kind of looks the best. Uh, maybe I don't. I don't want to really want to do stock. I want to do something different, maybe. Uh, no, nah, I'll just sleep with stock. There's not really much else. Uh, xenons, no underglow. Okay, Larry. So we have black stripes. So just okay just black stripe on the top and then two white stripes next to it so it looks like okay white stripe same thing just white um then we have racing liveries is that all the liveries we have then we just have racing really that's all we have and then we have racing liveries i don't really care for any of the racing liveries though i might go with one of these uh We'll go with the white stripe for now. I may change it later on, depending on the color we decide for the car. Um, black. So, colors, I don't... Yeah, I don't know if I want to mess with colors right now. Um, we'll mess with those later. So, roof. So, we have stock, riveted, um, ridged. You have the little, uh, vortex gen. Um, let's see... Have a little scoop at the front. Don't know why that's ever a thing, but okay. 
roof box, surfboards. It's kind of funny you put a surfboard on it. Honestly, I might put a surfboard on it because I don't think there's actually a car. I don't know. You guys would might have to correct me in comments, but I don't think there's a car in the game yet that actually lets you put a surfboard on it. So I'm actually going to do that. That kind of looks cool. kind of like it. Why not? Um, skirts. So stock and then street. Primary street. Um, okay. Okay, so I'll probably want to... Do I want a secondary color for the side? Um, I only think you can use your secondary color for the search, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but I think I might go street, maybe? Yeah, because the rest of these are kind of excessive. So yeah, let's go street. Just a nice little black at the bottom. Spoiler. Uh, don't know. Okay, so... So it kind of just removes like that little bit right there, which is kind of interesting. You have a little bit of a spoiler like that. S just some small spoilers. You have a duck tail or a lip, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God. That got... Okay, then. That's kind of excessive. I mean, I guess, but that's kind of... That's very excessive. I think I'm just going to go with this one because it doesn't really change the look of the car and it adds the uh, traction bonus, as you see right here. Adds a little bit of traction bonus, so yeah. 100% gonna do that. Uh, sunstrip. I oh, will do sunstrip. Why not? Uh, I think I'll just do this one since it has the line or the stripe on it, so kind of matches it. Um, suspension. I think I definitely want to lower this car. I think right here is good, actually. Yeah, everything more than that is kind of excessive. I think right here is good. Lowering that just gets kind of a bit absurd with how low the ground it gets. Yeah. Cut. Transmission, turbo, wheels I'll do in a second, and then windows. So do probably want to black this out. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, and then, let's see, what do we think we're color? So, I don't know if I want to do a... Oh, wow, I actually... I landed on this color on accident. Shadow silver. I actually really like this color. I've never used this color before, and I kind of like it. Especially with the white. This actually looks... Yeah, I'm going to do that, honestly. Let's see. What if we do, like, a blue pearlesso with that as well? Uh, that's a bit bright of a blue. Like this blue, the racing blue? Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Racing blue pearlescent with the... Uh, what was it? The uh, shadow silver. That looks pretty good. Secondary color. I have currently as I swipe out. Does this actually change anything? The interior trim, it looks like. That's about it. Well, we already made this thing kind of blue, so I guess we'll stick with blue. Let's see. Um, let's go, go in here. Um, I guess we'll just go with ultra blue since it's the brightest. Looks pretty good. You also see from the outside pretty well. So, yeah, I think that's good. Um, okay, trim color. What's trim? Okay, so just all this. So, I'm getting an outside perspective. I don't think we want to go blue for this section, do we? Actually, what if you want with Shadow Silver? How does Shadow Silver look in this case? Ooh, it's like a... Oh, that actually looks really nice on the interior with the Ultra Blue. Yeah, I think I like that. There we go. Go with that. Okay. And, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do the glitch. Because these tires... Uh, actually, I might see if I can find some more accurate tires to the real-life car first. Um, but either way, um, if I, I... mean, yeah, I'll just be back once I get the tires, whether I change these to all black or if I find more tires that look realistic to the real ones. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I couldn't get the original tires to change to the all-black color, even though they did look really good. Um, but I got some tires that look decently accurate to real-life uh, tires, so yeah. Um, but either way, let's go and do a test the same handling and it does actually feel really good try to drift it a little bit yeah it seems like we got a lot of traction uh it's it's okay actually it's not bad it's pretty good um now if you look at the bottom right it is part of the sedans class so i wouldn't expect it to be insanely good but it's actually not bad it's uh yeah it's not gonna spin out like it's definitely not slidey at all 
Um, that's for sure. Hey, oh, well, there you go. I went full speed around a corner and it kind of spit or uh, slipped, but either way, this thing feels really good in terms of handling. Um, it's got really good traction. I would say pretty good track or handling, I mean. Um, it's got pretty good handling. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go bring this down to the airport and we can uh, see if this has a good top speed as well. Oh, so guys, real quickly, let's go ahead and uh, check out the interior of the vehicle. So I'll go ahead and all for vehicle doors so in terms of the engine the engine actually looks really nice it is off center which i don't know if it's like that in the real life car or if it's just like that in game but interesting uh but yeah engine looks pretty nice um interior oh if i don't close the door interior actually uh, i think i've seen this interior before but it still looks nice um i definitely like the seats in this car um they definitely are really nice and there's a trunk right there. Actually, pretty big trunk, um, which I think the real life car also has a pretty big trunk. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, bring this to the airstrip for its uh, top speed. Okay, guys, here we are on the uh, airstrip right now. And right now we're at 110 miles per hour, it looks like. At least what I can tell. Yeah, it's 110. And I think that's about where we're going to top out at. Yeah, 110 miles per hour. So, not bad, actually. Um, now, in terms of acceleration, this thing feels really good in terms of acceleration. As you can see right there. Um, I believe it's all-wheel drive. At least it feels like it is. Have to... See, can I get it sideways to test that? No, not really. This thing has too much traction for me to be able to test uh, all-wheel drive. But, uh, yeah. Feels like it has all-wheel drive. So, really good acceleration and everything. So, yeah. Either way. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And also, before I do go ahead and end the video, I do want to mention this vehicle is only 1.6 mil, which is, sounds expensive, but in-game it's not that expensive, for GTA at least. Um, but uh, yeah, 1.6 mil, I would say is actually pretty reasonable for this car. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.